What's going on, everybody? It's Fade Dating Coach Elliot Scott, and as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about how to get some power back, how to get a guy to respect you, and I'm going to interchange those the the, the mean or the words uh, power and respect, kind of the same thing to some extent. Um, the way we're going to use it today, yes, but I want to give you an interesting uh, perspective on power and how people subconsciously look at it, right? So jumping right into it, I first wanna talk about the, you know, the king and queen. Like what makes a good king, right? What makes a good queen? It's someone for the people, okay? It's someone for the people. It's, you know, that they're in there and they do a lot of good for the country. They do a lot of good for the people. Um, the people's lives are better uh, because of her being a queen, right? Her, it's going to go up. Like, her power is going to go up. Her reputation, her whatever it is, is a status. Well, I guess you can't go higher. But, you know, people, she's going to be likable, right? Now, what happens if she goes in and people don't like her? People are like, well, what the hell? What? A lot of things happen, right? She could be overthrown. She, you know, There's going to be a lot of resentment. There's going to be a lot of like um, planning behind the scenes of how to get rid of her and bring the next person in. All that kind of stuff. It is, believe it or not, it is no different with dating today. So let me try to paint a picture for you guys. When, if you want power, ladies, first off, you have to set boundaries. These are like the prerequisites, like what you allow, what you don't allow. Everyone knows that. But what makes a guy follow these things? That's the difference. What makes a guy respect you and follow these boundaries? Because here's the thing. We have two paths, if you can see this. We have the path where you do have power, okay? And the path where you don't have power. And a lot of the times, especially if you study my uh, material, you, I seem a little cynical when it comes to people and relationships and intentions. And a lot of the times that is, is because in a lot of situations, a guy gets power, okay, by you having a lack of boundaries, a lack of power. Um, and I'll show you why this has something to do with this. But when you lack boundaries, when he lacks respect for you, when you lack power, he gets the assets for free, or for a lot less at least. He gets it at his convenience, meaning like hot and cold, right? So hot slash cold, you get, that happens all the time. He gets more chances than he deserves. You lower your barrier of entry. You give a guy the benefit of the doubt, et cetera, right? You, all these type of things. However, someone has to pay this cost. I always talk about cost. Someone has to pay this cost, ladies, and it's you. <laughs> someone has to pay the cost of this, okay? Um, and, and it's gonna be your sanity and stuff like that. Now, how do we take a guy who likes this in this scenario and bring it over here, okay? Well, it kind of goes back to the queen thing. And I have it written here, and this is very true. This is not just for what I'm saying in this video. This is very true if you study power dynamics, okay? Your power increases, respect increases, if uh, people want you to have it, okay? Which I know sounds weird, but it goes back to the queen thing. If my life is better because you're a queen, okay, versus like Julie, who's the queen, Queen Julie, or whoever, right? Um, then I'm, I'm going to want her, however, or you. But if my life is not better, meaning like these things right here are hard to get, okay, I'm going to want them from Julie, okay? I'm going to want them from Julie. So when you are talking to a man um, and you are setting boundaries, the way you get respect is by having it become a win-win. I hope this is making sense, by it being a win-win. What a lot of women do is they hold out too long, they play the game too hard, they don't know how to play the game at all, they, they just, just so, you know, they, they, they don't have any boundaries, where it, it, it gets to the point where it naturally goes like this. But if you're playing what I always call the man-woman dynamic, the banter, the quick wit, the sexual tension, 
um, the, uh, the chemistry, right? The flirtation, the sexual vibe, and into, into, like all that, the laughter. And again, it's a man woman dynamic, right? And, and you set boundaries. He has no problem do, going this path with you versus this one. Why? Because in this path, it's win win. Like a guy who truly likes you, ladies. He wants it win-win. If you're happy, think of it like this. If you're happy, he, right? You're training a damn dog. If you're happy, he gets more of this, right? He gets more of this. But you're a high-value woman under this circumstance versus this. A guy doesn't want a low-value woman, maybe to take advantage of, but not to commit with, but not to commit with, okay? So when you're talking to a dude, I guess to sum this up, you get power if... People want you to have it. When I say this, I don't mean just men or women. I mean, um, you know, man and man, man and woman, woman and woman, work, boss, colleague, parent, anything. If people respect you, okay? People will respect you and give you power if they want you to have it, okay? If you have it, if you have it and they don't want you to have it, they resent you. You do not want that. So, you want people to, I guess in this, this situation, you want, a guy will want you to have power if he feels it's fun, playful, the man-woman dynamic, both parties are winning, and it becomes win-win. But you first have to show that by demonstrating your values. He's going to try something, and you have to be like, eh, no. But, you, again, you have to have boundaries. If you don't, you're going down here where all this gets very accessible. But if you play the man-woman dynamic, it's very fun, playful, the banter, all that. It becomes win-win. And if you're happy, and he knows that to make you happy, I like a damn dog, I, you know, I, I get these things, then he's going to do it. That's how you get power. People just aren't entitled. I'm not saying you're saying this, but a lot of people, when the more I study and I talk to my clients, like women, this is, this is gonna be fucked up to say, but he, a guy doesn't owe you anything. Well, that's not even left up. It's the truth. He doesn't owe you shit. You're nobody. He don't owe you shit, okay? He chooses to invest his resources into you. And then you choose to let him. That's how the courtship happens. A guy just doesn't pick a woman to randomly pick a woman. It's not random, okay? He picks somebody. And he either picks them on one or two reasons. Because she's fucking easy, okay? And I can get the assets. Or... It, this girl would never be girlfriend. This girl would never be girlfriend. Never, ever. That would not happen. So that's why guys don't want this path. A lot of women are like, guys don't want relationships. They do. A woman just doesn't play the man-woman dynamic correctly. If you want a man to respect you, you have to have the boundaries, but you have to play the man-woman dynamic correctly to where it's win-win. And he knows, okay, long as I do X, Y, Z, I'm a damn dog. I'm, you know, I make her happy. We both win. That's how it works. If you have power, or like basically, if you're doing these boundaries, but a guy doesn't want you to have it, whether that's because he's a piece of shit, a manipulator, and he'd rather go over here and he doesn't want a relationship, or whatever, like you don't set, whatever it is, it's not going to go well, okay? He's not going to invest and stuff like that. But if you're fun, cool, playful, you create this dynamic, it ends up right here, okay? And then you guys are over here. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to make a guide on this uh, eventually, which speaking of, if you want to get my high value guide, seven ways to instantly increase your, your value like that, link free, absolutely free. Link is down below along with a session with yours truly. If you want to work with me, links down below. Again, off, not, well, not the session. That's not free, but the guide is 100% free. I will leave it in the description. I will leave it in the comment section. Just click and it will be sent right to your email. With that being said, ladies, I love you all. Take care and peace.